Hi, everyone. I'm Gary Knoll. Nice to have you with us today. We're here to help people live a longer and healthier life. One of the ways that we live a longer life is by having healthy lungs. Now, when you're outside, you're in clean air, not polluted air, and you're walking, power walking really fast, or jogging, biking, swimming, well, that's good. Because you're inhaling, you're getting good clean oxygen in, and you're exhaling carbon dioxide. But as we age, based upon how we've helped ourselves or not, eating the right foods or wrong foods, we can damage the lungs. And of course, nothing damages the lungs more than cigarette smoking and alcohol. Well, now there's some good research from the Sabin Research Institute in Los Angeles in a study at the uh, Sabin Research Institute of Child Children's Hospital. They demonstrated for the first time that inhaled resveratrol treatment slow age-related degenerative changes in the mouse lung and lung aging characterized by airspace enlargement and decreased lung function is a significant risk factor for chronic human lung diseases. But what is resveratrol? Now, let me spell it so you can write it down if you're not familiar with it. R-E-S-V-E-R-A-T-R-O-L. It comes from grapes. It, it, you can also find it in other fruits as well. But all over Europe, <clears throat> people eat grapes. In fact, when I was in France, I was surprised to see, especially in the country, instead of having the traditional dessert that we have in the United States, cake, pie, something like that, ice cream, which they also do, but more often than not, they have grapes. In fact, all the time, there are grapes on the table. Now, their grapes are not all seedless. They had the seed. And it's in the seed and the skin that the grape really has this wonderful capacity to help us heal. Now, resveratrol does a lot of good things. It builds up our immune system, protects us against disease, including heart disease. But according to the journal Thorax, a major peer review journal, the chemical that is in the red wine and in, is in the grapes is an antimicrobial. And uh, it's produced by the plants to protect against infection and stress-related changes of the plant. We just get the benefit of that. So if you want to help your body and slow down the aging process, especially the deterioration of your lung function and structure, and preserve the, uh, the epithelial type 2 cells, the AEC2, which line the tiny air sacs in the lung through which the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place, then just take some resveratrol. Now, I suggest taking anywhere from 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day, but you can take less. The University of California, Davis, a plant product shows promise in a mouse model for Parkinson's disease. Now, mind you, this is just one piece of a puzzle. There are many things to help this. A natural product from the dried root of a pea family plant, potentially combined with an enzyme inhibitor discovered in the laboratory at the University of California, may provide hope in alleviating neuroinflammation and Parkinson's disease. Now, just for the scientists in the audience who would be interested in this, or the physicians, they found a soluble uh, product called SEH, and it, uh, it's important. But for everyone else, the dried root of Sophora, S-O-P-H-O-R-A, flavicins, F-L-A-V-E-S-C-E-N-S, -E -E reduce neuroinflammation and uh, in this animal model, and uh, so just something for you to consider, just one more. And this, by the way, has been used in China for hundreds of years to help with the brain. It's a dried root, and it's called the Kush, K-U-S-H-E-N. Now, if you want to reduce your risk of stroke, and who doesn't, Tai Chi, T-A-I-C-H-I, an ancient Chinese martial art and, and meditation, this was done at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Weekly Tai Chi classes can reduce the risk of stroke by lowering high blood pressure and increasing the good cholesterol, or HDL, the high-density lipoprotein, according to research presented at the American Stroke Association's International Stroke Conference. And uh, so that's good. 
If you've never tried Tai Chi, it's easy, it's fluid, it's relaxing, it's meditative. It's an exercise, very disciplined uh, way of helping the mind focus too. And it lowers high blood pressure. That's important. Two 60 second, uh, 60 minute classes of Tai Chi per week made the difference. Also, they say walk briskly, power walk for 30 minutes every day. And uh, so just one more thing to help us. We have an awful lot of postmenopausal women in the United States, and they're all concerned about osteoporosis and the bone becoming demineralized. And then suddenly you fall, your hip, your leg breaks, you end up with an infection and frequently die. So anything that we can do that's natural, non-toxic, that stimulates stronger bones, that's important. Well, the good news is at the university in Greece, the Kapodistrian University, they found that postmenopausal women in this study who use collagen peptides had improved bone mineral density. Now, we know what goes into bone, and that's why I suggest and have for a long time, vitamin D, three, vitamin K, one and two, uh, also manganese, magnesium, silica, calcium. Those are your most important elements, phosphorus as well. Now, people think that if you drink milk or eat dairy, you're getting strong bones because you're getting calcium. Well, you are getting calcium. The trouble is the five nations of the world that consume the most dairy have the most osteoporosis including in the United States and Scandinavian countries. So clearly, it is not the answer. And I remember when I was a student in dietetic school, we did a study and we did an analysis of the amount of available calcium that your body would use from milk and compared that to kale. Kale had far more calcium, magnesium, and other nutrients the bone will really absorb in greater capacity to absorb them. And one of the reasons is that a lot of people are allergic to dairy. I happen to be one of those people. And sometimes, I'm, of course, I have a dairy-free vegan diet, but sometimes I'll suddenly find myself having uh, congestion uh, in the throat, some mucus. And I think, okay, what was it? So I go back and lo and behold, I find that a vitamin I was taking, not as one of the major ingredients, but one of the additives was a, uh, a dairy product. That is not uncommon. I even had a bottle of organic, raw uh, pecan butter. And I thought, this is great, because I like all the different uh, nut butters, and I have one each day. But then I had it, and about 10 minutes later, I started to get very uh, a lot of mucus, and I thought, what's this about? Clearing my throat. Turns out when I went back and read the label, it also had non-fat dry milk in it. Who knew? I thought it was just a nut and that's it. No, that's what it's supposed to be. So always read the label to see if there's anything in there. Yeast is common as an allergen. Peanuts is a common allergen uh, that you might be responding to. And we respond in different ways. In any case, uh, what you want is you want the best possible mineral combinations. And those combinations I just gave you, that's what really creates strong bone. How do we know? Because at the Tri-State Healing Center, we measured people's bone density. And uh, then after a period of treatment, depending upon what they were there for, especially osteoporosis, we were able to remineralize their bones throughout their body, a substantial level, taking them out of being any longer uh, with osteoporosis. So we had before and after examples. And then one really good example of this was a woman uh, two years ago who attended the first of four anti-aging clinical studies on campus. On campus means that they were all there for a month and I was there with them. And then every day they would all get up and we would go for a walk, power walk, and they would measure the distance and they would uh, measure the time it took and how they felt. And they all had to keep diaries. And then we would go in and they would all take the same supplements. All the supplements were on a table. So everybody got the same supplements. Then they would have juices. They would drink 13 glasses of, 
of really, really nutrient rich juices each day. And uh, then we would work out in the gym and each person would work out to the degree they could. And, and then we had measurements. I brought a person in who was an exercise physiologist from Austin and they took the measurements all over the body. Um, uh, the, they would the folds of the skin to see how much uh, skin versus muscle. And there was one woman, a little short woman, and she was 95 years old. She didn't look 95. And she had really vital energy. She was an artist. And she told me that her doctor said she should not go because he was afraid that with it really advanced and non-stoppable osteoporosis that she could just sit and break a bone, a hip, and that could kill her. And he could be right. Now, none of us knew this. So, but when we did the impedance test, whoa, you know, and there was a choice, send her home or try to help her. And she said she wanted to be helped. Okay. So I put together a special protocol and the protocol consisted of magnesium, potassium, um, manganese, calcium, phosphorus, um, the vitamin K family, and silica. But it was done through natural foods, not through supplements. And so the body could adjust to it. On the last day, this woman did some remarkable things. And we filmed it. And in time, in not the very near future, I'm going to be presenting this information. Uh, we're right now, just so you know, as an aside, we have a person working every day, going through all of my films and selecting clips that are important for everyone. Um, for example, yesterday she put up a clip about uh, natural pet care, how to care for your dog or your cat and or bird so they can live a longer life. And it, these are like seven minutes and the whole film was like five hours, but uh, only bits and pieces that are relevant because we find that people will watch something and memorize it and know it better if it's in short segments. So they're gonna be thousands upon thousands of segments all categorized. So if you wanna know about cancer, everyone I've ever interviewed on cancer, filmed on cancer, all the cancer testimonials, they're all in one place. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing. Anyhow, that's why you're going to see all these people have made remarkable improvements. But on the first day, she couldn't walk 50 feet. She couldn't lift anything. She had no strength. On the last day, she did what no 95-year-old I've ever seen in my life do. I mean, it was just absolutely remarkable. And the gym out on the road, three miles fast. I mean, vigorous. You could see her muscles. You could see her. Well, her stamina was phenomenal but it was the impedance. She had all this new bone mass. She no longer had osteoporosis at 95. So you can reverse it. That's why I gave that story. And now this trial also shows it, but they're doing something a little different. They're saying that vitamin D3 and calcium and the collagen peptides make a difference. And you can get collagen peptides. That's not difficult. Just something else to help people. All right. And, uh, and they're suggesting about 500 milligrams of calcium a day. I believe that's too little. I would suggest something closer to about 800 milligrams of calcium divided 400 in the morning, 400 in the evening. They're suggesting 400 units of vitamin D3. <clears throat> I'm suggesting 3,000. So, so good study to help all the women who are postmenopausal dealing with osteopenia, osteoporosis. Get your calcium, get your magnesium, get your vitamin D3 every day. Now that's the latest on health and healing. And also I'm gonna to start today answering questions from people who've been emailing us. Thank you, because now we know what's of concern to you. And you can email us your questions too, prnstudio at gmail.com, prnstudio at gmail.com. And Elizabeth McCormick will be asking the question. I don't know which one it will be, but um, we're, I'm going to answer it. And that generally takes a little longer, but you get a really good understanding of how to solve a problem. I don't care if it's arthritis or diabetes or high blood pressure or losing weight without crash dieting. 
I'm going to answer all the questions that come in. We're going to take a break and be right back. Please stay with us.